Hey guys. I've been working on the the fence out back the last few days. And so I wanted to uh, show you guys what I've been doing. I've been meaning to film it, but we've had rain each day. It hadn't been a lot, just a little bit of rain. But I finally had time to actually dedicate um, myself to the fence. And so I've been out there four or five days now. And it's been so hot. Uh, it just, I'm, I'm going at it steady, but it's just slow. I'm, um, I'm only doing, uh, I'm working from around seven o'clock in the morning till about 8.30 in the evening. And today was the first day I actually stopped to get something to eat. I just I got overheated today. Uh, been overheated every day. It's been really really hot. But I wanted to kind of show you what I've got done. I'm doing it by myself. And praise the Lord for the tractor. It, I'd be half, uh, probably not even half of where I'm at right now. And I'm almost at the point to where I can start stretching the, the wire, the fence wire itself. To get to our back property, um, we have to drive and go down this other road. And that's where I'm at now. I just got on this other road to, to come in through the back gate. Our entrance gate directly behind the house when we had the rams, um, we had some does in season and the rams destroyed the gate trying to get to the does. And so we've got it wired shut. We got, we moved the boys from the back up to the front. So they're all together right now. And I've got to get the fence finished before the does go back into their breeding season again, which uh, isn't far off. We want to um, skip this next season. We don't want to let any of them breed. But this is the first gate I've got to go through. I wish you got to see. Oh, I'm getting old. Yeah, this is the, uh, let me see, did my camera turn off? Okay, I'm sorry, I, just, I thought it turned off. I have to go through this gate first. This is a 16-foot gate here. Then we gotta go down this dirt road here to get to the back gate. So takes a little while, but it's how we can guarantee that or almost guarantee that we don't have people coming back here messing with the goats. We have enough trouble with the, <laughs> the big guys. We don't have a lot of issues out of them. Normally, it's just the uh, the slap in the side of a house, or sometimes really strange noises that they produce. Really, really odd noises. I don't know what they are. They do a lot of whistling, just the, the normal stuff and things to do. I have to lock this up every time I come in to make sure nobody uh, comes into it. We don't want nobody fooling around out here. Okay. All right, now heading up to the next gate. And I'm putting in a third gate. So <laughs> uh, 
we have, we'll have two fences back here because a couple of the goats, Roscoe and Louie and Goomba, and then little RJ, the, the pygmy, they are escape artists. And Louie and Benji have figured out how to open the gates unless we padlock them. can't see my screen the sun's out so I'm hoping that we're getting it in frame and this is the back gate uh, it's just a regular double chain link gate there's the lake you guys can see it right there it's beautiful all this is cleared and I'm gonna go in here and then uh show you what we got going on I'm trying to get everything cleaned up I got some really huge bags that are back here and the debris and the messed up fencing and all that stuff from the tornadoes we got a big pile of it that we got to haul to the dump this would be the third load and I just I can't do it right now financially we're just not able to the dump, the landfill has gotten so expensive. And it's crazy. The, it used to be $50 per ton. And we average uh, between 1,900 and 2,200 pounds when we haul stuff there. And the last time, uh, 1,900 pounds of garbage debris uh, logs and just junk normally it runs uh, I think it was about thirty dollars thirty two dollars it's not bad it's not bad at all but the last run that we made we had seventeen hundred pounds and it was almost seventy dollars They've gone up so high, the price, I mean, it's ridiculous what they've done. Uh, I'm going to park the car. Well, this, this would be good. All right, give me just a second. Let me get out and grab my, my drink and all my stuff, and I'm going to show you guys what we got going on. All right, guys, I want to show you what, I was, um, what I've been working on. Well, I haven't done anything with the videos this past week. Uh, I don't know, four or five days. All right, uh, let me turn the camera around. You guys can see. All right, this this big gate, this taller one, I'm going to be putting right here between these two poles. And we're tearing all this mess down. This. I've got so much garbage, plywood, pallets, uh, bed frames, whatever I could find to patch it from the hurricane and then the two tornadoes. This would be the new gate to be mounted on, on this pole and this one. Ow. I got these, they're a little over 50 inches in the ground, these poles. And then I run, to tension it, I use electric fence wire. The, pretty thick electric fence wire it's got three wraps I got a horseshoe staple right here and I drive it in enough that I can run the wire through it and it can move freely and then a tensioner electric fence tensioner right here and I'll do three wraps one piece of wire and then I'll attach the tensioner and then I'll do another one the opposite way to form an X and I got a piece of pipe right here between them to stiffen it up so when I pull tension on the new fence, it's not going to pull my poles over. And then these are the new poles. Um, and it goes down to the corner. And the corner's the same. I, Chris will be stopping by in a few minutes. i got to give him some uh, pieces of rebar to anchor his feeder down. But this, uh, you can see the condition of, of the old fence. i got so much junk holding it together 
just to keep the goats in. What are you doing, Tinker? Hey, girl. That's my girl, Tinker. And this is the same way. The poles are in the ground, a little over 50 inches, and then it's got the cross with the cables, two ratchets, and a pipe. Every corner has that. And this fence here, once we put the new fence up, the side fences, um, the ones on the north and south side, this one and the other one, opposite side, I'm going to leave them. And we're going to put the fence up. There'll be a little gap in between them. Just a little extra security. This is the side we get the activity from. And some stuff has uh, started happening again recently. The little sinkholes went down. It was pretty full. This is from the hurricane. I was going to cut it down, but when Louie gets out, I'm so afraid one of them things are going to catch him and kill him or a coyote. Louie runs up this thing to get back in the yard, and so I'm not going to cut it down. It's his ex escape until we get the new fence up anyway. And this is the other corner here. And then I got um, this long run going across. All this, these trees, we're going to be covering all of that. We've got to get a bunch of dirt hauled in here. Um, that stuff you see there, that's aftermath from the tornado. The big white bags we got ready to go to the dump. Um, there's the old fence. This would be the new one. We got to, I shortened it up by 18 feet the gap at this far end here and then these are my tensioner poles I've got to add the wire to them and the ratchets to strengthen it up so it doesn't move once we apply pressure to the when I get the fence wrapped on it and we start pulling it with a tractor that way I don't pull my poles down I just want to make sure we got enough fence in here to keep the coyotes out and the big guys from coming in. I know it's not going to stop them, but the goats won't get to them. And this is the, the new gate that I'm adding. Uh, I already added it. I put a wheel on it because it's, it's a really long gate. And with it being that long, you you, you got to have a wheel for it. It's, just, it's a lot of gate. It's heavy. And then we're going from this corner here, um, and it'll run all the way back. I gotta take this oak down. Lightning got this one, and that other one on the other side of the fence. The same day, the I think it's the same lightning bolt that killed both of them. Kind of blew holes in this one. I gotta take it down. It's not in the way. This pink string is where the actual fence wire is gonna go right here. So we got a little bit of clearance, but I don't want it to fall and bust up the new fence. And you can see we got this thing jerry rigged. So that's what I've been working on. Um, I've done everything by myself. I've got about 15 poles to put in right here on this side and then put the cable on them tensioners on that back piece. This piece of rebar right here, this is 10 foot and I put a pole in, I butt it up to it and I come down to this end and my next pole will go right at the end of it and then I'll line it up with my string and that's how I got them to where it looks like one pole there. there very straight and they're 10 foot in between and then we're going to be hauling all this off I saved all these the old fence the chain link because we had a guy going to come by and get it all he wanted it and so we got everything pulled up and set aside and he never showed up 
and then we got some there's some metal for the scrap guy that next time we find a good scrap guy got some copper in the bottom there for him we used to have a, a scrap man that used to stop by an older gentleman and we give him a, a, a lot of stuff That's spinning. I see you. I see you, girl. That's Wiggles. This is the other corner. This pole, if you guys are building a fence, I mean, this is the top rail to the chain link fence that fell and never came back forward. That was two years ago, and we're still holding it. I cut that. You need something stiffer than this, but this will work for now until we can get the property. The acreage we have north of here get it fenced in we don't own it outright we're making payments on that property but it's only 250 a month and we're almost at the halfway point on our balance too much invested to let it go but uh, what I did on these I got a when the big long staples the horseshoe staples I got it driven in halfway in and then I rest the pipe on it and I put my level on it get it straight and I put a mark at that end and I put a horseshoe staple but to get it to fit you can see the notch I cut a notch with my hacksaw in the pipe right there and I bend it out and I just I kind of drop it over the top of the horseshoe and I take my hammer and I tap that bent piece back up I don't know how else to do it. I'm learning as I go. I've always had help doing things like this and until my son passed away and so now I'm doing everything by myself. Chris would help me, but he's working. Um, he's working, I think, seven days a week right now. And so he's, he's going all day long. I haven't even seen him in over a week. But he's going to be stopping by in a little while. Hey, buddy. That's a little buster. That's when Kim calls calls him her blue-eyed boyfriend. Come here, buster. Scratching. There's Wiggles. Hey, buddy. Yes, Kim, come out. But anyhow, that's what I'm working on. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna rebuild that hoop house. The tornado shredded the outer two layers of the vinyl that's on it. Or the outer three layers. It's only got uh, well, two layers. It's got four layers on it and two layers are missing. And then this here, this is all the metal for that scrap guy. I've been cutting these top rails up to use. I'm gonna use as much as I need to do the fence here at the property and I may save the rest of the top rail when we work on the other property and then I'm gonna this area right here I'm gonna put a fence around it to keep the goats from getting in there and uh, chewing the electric wires and stuff on my tractor and I got the other shelter I got a couple of guys are coming uh, Monday it's coming Monday and they're gonna help me get the other shelter up for the goats and I'm gonna put it back here somewhere but this these things are phenomenal for you you guys that do things yourself if you if you're into building structures um, repurposing materials the wall is pallets it's leaning because the tornado uh, this thing was shaking back and forth but it'll move see how it moves and these are cattle panels they're 50 inches wide by 16 feet long and I overlap them by about eight inches I guess and I got these clamps on them and it 
it's got a few of the clamps um, holding it together that's how I connected all the panels and then I use horseshoe staples just to tack it in place on the pallet and once I got them tacked I put a 2 by 4 on the outside and there's a 2 by 4 inside right here well the one on the outside is screwed into that one so the the cattle panel is sandwiched between them so it can't come loose and then once you get your frame I just this is billboard vinyl I get it from Dothan Alabama from a um, place called Durden Outdoors they build the big billboards for businesses and it makes a perfect little place for your tractors or, or for tools your a boat you can put a car in them and you're only limited to how much material you got you could build this thing a hundred foot long if you got the material for it and it's just the the pallets um, they don't rot because they're not exposed to the elements the vinyl goes all the way to the ground you can see it right there it goes to the ground I fold it out and I put dirt on top of it and it prevents water from getting underneath and rotting and rotting the wood out repurpose everything here is repurposed these are billboards existing billboards that once the contract is up they take them down and we used to be able to get them for twenty dollars but now they're uh well last year they were 35 to 50 they used to be the small ones you can get for 15 dollars but for 35 dollars you get this heavy duty vinyl it's 44 feet long and 14 and a half feet wide and it's it's heavy it's really heavy the painted side is UV uh, paint it's protected by UV UV sealant stand by just a second oh my lord it's so hot today Kim's up there calling the babies. Um, <clears throat> I just went through some corn out for them to get them all in one area. Back over there, Rosie's chasing the duck around. <laughs> oh Lord, but but anyhow, um, I should be. Squirrel up in the tree, dropping stuff on the top, scared the fire out of me for a second. Um, I should be done with the fence, I hope, in um, I don't know, two days, three days. Once I run the wire, I don't know how that's that's going to turn out. The I'll be doing it by myself. Squirrel up there somewhere, so we can find him. He's dropping stuff on the. It's not like a. Don't stick. No, that is. See it right there. Let me adjust this out a little bit. Uh, I don't think I saw it. Oop, know what that is. Never mind. Rocks. More rocks. That's the same thing that ends up on the roof of the house, and I bet that's a rock right there on the roof. That's why it was so loud. I figured it'd be stick. There's a Looks like a piece of a stick right there, but there ain't nothing in the tree. Definitely rocks down there. It's little pieces of concrete. Let's see where it's at. I'm gonna knock it down. That was it. I don't know if you guys can see see the little bow in the vinyl right there. That's where it's at. Let's see if I can knock it down. 
there goes that. It's not a stick. That's definitely a rock. I think it's limestone. Limestone's in the ground all over out here. That's why we have all the uh, springs. I thought it was concrete, but it's not. It's pretty light. I guess that's what that is, too. But that same stuff is all over the roof of the house. Um, I don't think you can see it from here. It's still up there, and that was from a while back. I don't know which direction, probably from that way. I'm positive that's what just hit the top of Hoop House. Rosie and Cam are up there. Rosie was chasing the duck around, and there's no way either one of them could throw anything this far. I would have seen them if they threw it. I'm just going to check this side. This is a bunch of junk. I don't see any concrete or limestone on this side. There's a piece right there. Yep, there's another one. There's one right there. I don't know what, that's shiny. It's got like glitter in it. It's not limestone. I don't know what that is. It's pretty. I was on a, um, Terry from Bigfoot Odyssey invited me to come on the show with him, and we didn't have internet. The internet service was horrible, and so I, I got up on the roof, I got on top of the little goat platform back there, and then got my little, the 50 gallon barrels, I got up on it, and I put my barrel up top, and I climbed on top of the barrel, and I got on the edge of the roof, and rocks were coming out of the trees there. You could hear them. And they were landing all over the roof. Sounded like a rock hit that that shelter that time. I heard two. Um, but they don't... Um, I haven't been hit. But... I've never had it thrown at me during the daytime either. There ain't nothing over there. I'm gonna sit back in here and see if it happens again. Let me turn the camera around. Oh. Sorry guys. Um, I'm waiting to see if another one hit the roof. That last one was loud. It scared me. It didn't hit the canvas. It hit the, the metal framework that's on the side. And it's um, it kind of echoed. It's really loud. Did y'all hear that one? Another one just hit. That was a small one. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go inside. Um, it just kind of creeps me out. I don't know which side. I'm pretty sure it's from this side over here. Because that's where the rocks are. The majority of them there's a couple rocks from that other side guys i'm gonna wrap this up i'm gonna go ahead and get my tools up and go inside i don't i don't like being out here if we start getting activity like that that's the first time the last time they threw rocks at me was about probably a month ago i was i was out here at night all the goats were huddled up at the this end of the yard the south end and i went out and they were all facing that way every one of them were standing facing the woods the sinkhole and I got probably 20 feet past the end of the house. I was going over there. I had my flashlight. And I heard a rock sailing through the leaves. And it landed about five feet from me. And within seconds, another one. I didn't hear it coming through the leaves. But it hit the ground pretty close to me. And I shined the light. I stopped, shined the light through the whole area. There was no eye shine. I didn't see anything. And I just I came back inside. And we turned the lights on in the, the back. The side lights are busted every time we... Put new bulbs there something pops the lenses off of them and breaks them so we're just not replacing them anymore 
But all right, guys, so I'm gonna go inside. I just want to touch base with you. I don't want to get hit in the face or the head with a rock. I just had to load up my tools. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna do for today. I'll wait until tomorrow. I was gonna try to finish it, but uh, I don't like having rocks thrown at me. It creeps me out a little bit. Y'all have a good day. God bless you. I love you, and I will be seeing you guys very soon. Bye-bye.